Good to have you back with us on the cafe. Now, in its fifth year, Kia Inspire returns to Auckland, bringing us the international and inspirational stories of six world-leading, world-changing Kiwis from Kia's world-class New Zealand network. These Kiwis represent the very best New Zealand has to offer the world. Welcome again, international celebrity chef Robert Oliver and CEO of Kiwa, and also executive wellness coach Stephen Renata. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us. Hey, sure. I can feel the inspiration oozing at this table already. So there's a lot to get through. Um, but first, Robert, let's start with you. Tell us about this event because it sounds incredible. Yeah, I mean, Kia is a global organisation. It's, it's, it's Kiwi expats abroad and it's a network of kind of, I guess, high achieving New Zealanders who meet each other through the network and support each other. Like if you've lived offshore, Kia is an invaluable organisation. And I don't know about you, but it's, uh, Kia members have opened doors for me. So it's, mm. it's bringing the New Zealand entrepreneurial sp spirit offshore, but making it inclusive. So it's, a, it's an awesome organisation, and they have these, the Inspire series, fifth, fifth year, I believe. Yes, fifth year. And it's just hearing stories of people from within the right. network. And there's nothing better than hearing inspiring stories from people who've had these incredible, well, these incredible stories to tell. Now, Stephen, tell me a little bit about your history. What is an executive wellness coach exactly? Well, I guess in simple terms, it's someone who's helping someone who wants to achieve high performance with their team, their staff, uh, their whānau, and um, to be able to sort of observe that give some insights and advice and just help to do that on a sustainable level. What sort of high performance are we talking? Um, communication's a big one. As mm. simple as it sounds, it's actually quite complex. Well, it is the tricky one that yeah. we, most people stumble over, isn't it? Yeah, it depends a little bit if you're talking about communication externally from the organisation or internally. And, um, you know, life is busy these days. People get tired and it's hard to be on your game every day, as you'd appreciate. Yeah. So yeah. I, you know, I know that you sort of were fundamental in setting up, you know, Les Mills and taking it global, which is fantastic. What are you doing now? What is Kiwa? Kiwa Digital is a new media company. So at our core, we produce um, native digital apps, uh, particularly in the education sector for literacy. So uh, we were the company that put Harry McCleary into the iPad. If you had a child, Mike, you would know this. <laughs> Harry McCleary on the iPad was a very big yeah, deal. Clever, yeah. clever work. And um, underneath all the, the animation and the fun stuff, what we've managed is to develop some software, some technology that's got an algorithm that allows you to swipe to read, touch to listen, and double tap to spell. Nice. So we can really advance literacy in a language or in a second language. Actually, what Stephen was just showing me before, one of his uh, one of his apps, it was really fascinating because it's bilingual and it will help people learn another language mm. and so many different languages that we can learn. It was absolutely incredible. Um, <laughs> we talked for hours and hours actually, but I was <laughs> absolutely fascinated. Uh, but also, Robert, mm. you, talking with you, you were doing some incredible things in the Pacific. Tell me a little bit about this oh. fishing thing that you're doing right. with the villages right through right. to the hotel. Well, that's a project with WWF. You haven't Not spoken about this before, have you? No, it's exclusive right here. Oh, right nice. Here. Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> so WWF, not the wrestling folks, the World Wildlife Foundation. Okay, the other people, ones, right. And Le Cordon Bleu, the, the New Zealand campus of Le Cordon Bleu. We've teamed up to create a fish brand that, that takes fish from the villages, from the village setting, all the way through the hotels. And it's, you know, a lot of my work has been around tourism and about getting the local cuisine into tourism because then you use local agriculture, local products. So this is a model in seafood about that. It's really exciting, actually. I'm really, really thrilled to be part of it. And for me, I mean, it's, it's I'm a chef, right? But so what's a chef doing in this space? This is a cuisine story at the end of the day because it has got all the, if you look at cuisine as a cultural matrix, it goes all the way from the ocean, all the soil, right to the consumer, mm -hmm. to the end user, and all the people and the culture in between. So we plan on keeping that intact. Now, what I love about what you, what you gentlemen are doing with this series is you are inspiring people. Is it, when it comes to New Zealanders that achieve well overseas, do you think we try harder to impress or is there just something special about New Zealanders? Yeah, I think there's a little bit of the David and Goliath thing that exists with Kiwis. Uh, you know, we're a small country trying to take on the world. Um, I think we are a culture that are into experimenting, iterating. And um, there's that sort of get out there and try and fix it attitude that sometimes you don't see in other cultures. And is that fundamentally once you've got the series going and people, because people can watch it online too, can't they? Yes, the they series. Um, or you can get along and buy tickets if you want. Is that what you do? You sort of just tell people how these experiences come about and link people together? I think, I think the spirit of it is sharing knowledge, yeah. and sharing lessons learned. And that's very much the spirit of Kia. 
And I, a lot of the people in the organization are entrepreneurs and you think, well, that's a competitive space, but it's just not the way it works. So it's really valuable. And it really says a lot about New Zealand as a culture that we can go out, we can, we can be in our competitive zones, but we can share stuff with each other mm. for the betterment of everybody. Just quickly then, who inspires you, Robert? This guy inspires me. He's like, we're here today. We have a lot Slipping in common, we, we figured out. We have a lot in common. Yeah. Yeah, we're speaking into that. And, um, you know, I've, I'm a, I've, a lot of my work has ended up being around valuing indigenous cuisine systems. Mm. So I just did a show for Murray TV last year called Maraikai Masters, which was amazing. It's such an important show within New Zealand. And that, that raising of the indigenous cuisine content is such a part of our story. And it was so awesome to be part of it. So we've got that value of the indigenous in common. Okay, inspiring. Yeah. I didn't answer your question at no, all. No, you didn't. I should be a politician. Well, we've run out of time. You really should be a politician. It's been fascinating. We could talk to you for hours and hours. Yeah. Thank you both so much for coming in. Uh, you really are very inspirational. Uh, and thanks for coming on the cafe today. Thank you. And if you Good. want some more inspiration, the Kia Inspire series is on tomorrow afternoon at Sky City Theatre in Auckland.